We are headed to see if baby girl has a uterus. Um, so MRKH actually runs in my family. Periods can be a pain for many women, but more girls than you know are born with no womb at all. It affects around 1 in 5,000 females and it's called Mullerian agenesis. The mother you saw at the start was being proactive to go and get a scan, but most of the people who have this actually realize they do when they hit puberty and their period just never starts. You may think that there's no way for them to become mothers if they have no womb, and that was true for thousands of years, but thanks to modern medicine, it is no more. I say that because even though there are many variations of this condition, most of them still have their ovaries intact, which which means that if they have a male partner, these women can then go through an IVF process and use a surrogate to become biological mothers. Many of these patients have reported feeling grief, incompleteness, or a loss of femininity, but psychological interventions can help with that because we know that being a female isn't just defined by your ability to carry a child. 